my beautiful Nicolettes. Welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. And if you are new, before you leave, it would mean so much if you guys click that red subscribe button to join the family. But today's video is gonna be all about ways to fall asleep faster. So these are my 10 sleep life hacks. So if you have trouble falling asleep at night, or you maybe want to fall asleep earlier so you can wake up earlier or just have the best quality sleep, then definitely keep watching. I know for myself, I had a time where I had a really hard time falling asleep early and I kept staying up super late. And one, that is not great for your body. And two, you're going to feel horrible the next morning, especially if you have to wake up early for your day. Question of the day, comment down below what time you go to a bed typically on a normal day. I'm curious to know what your bedtimes are. I will also make sure to link my life hacks playlist in the description box for you guys, so make sure you guys go check that out. But let's just jump into the life hacks. Life hack number one is to take a warm shower or bath before bedtime. Warming your body up an hour before you go to bed and then stepping out in cool air will cause your body temperature to dry and studies show that rapid temperature decreases prepare your body for sleep. And by taking a warm shower or bath, it's also going to really relax your body and kind of get you ready for bedtime and make you more sleepy as well. Hack number two is to wear socks to bed. So I know some of us don't like wearing socks to bed. I'm someone that likes to wear socks to bed, but studies show that warm feet and hands were actually the best predictor for rapid sleep onset. Make sure you throw on a pair of of socks. I always like to sleep with my fuzzy socks and they are just so cozy and comfy and you will get a faster sleep. Life hack number three is to turn off all your electronics. Using electronics late at night is terrible for your sleep so using iPads, watching TV, using your phone or anything you can think of, your tablets, make sure that you're putting that aside before you go to bed. Don't be that person that's in their bed laying in bed all night on their computer and or on their phone. That's going to give you terrible sleep and it's not going to make you sleepy. So something I like to do is kind of disconnect from my phone and laptop about an hour before going to bed. If you do want to do something before going to bed, a really great thing is reading a book. And I don't mean using your tablet to read a book. Great way to also help you relax and kind of get ready for sleep as well. Another tip I have for you is something I like to do is also put my phone on do not disturb when I am sleeping. I find this is the best because you don't get those notifications that people are texting you you don't see your phone light up it just kind of you can see it all in the morning and it doesn't disturb your sleep or it doesn't get you tempted to check your phone as well life hack number four is to try aromatherapy and this is something that I've been doing a lot lately and my boyfriend recently got me a diffuser for Christmas and I love it I wanted one so badly and diffusers are amazing for helping to promote sleep and to get you more relaxed. So essential oil diffusers are really great to help infuse your room with relaxing scents. And this is what is going to really encourage sleep. It's also said to be great for improving your quality of sleep as well. And scents like lavender and I believe dab mask rose seem to be the scents that really have a positive effect with sleep. I just like to put a few drops of essential oil into my diffuser, let it run, and it really just calms me and relaxes me. And when I am going to sleep and it is bedtime, I usually do like to use a lavender scent because that has been just seen as such a great scent to help to promote positive sleep and give you the best sleep possible. So I always recommend using essential oils. If you don't have a diffuser, you can also just take the lavender essential oil. You could dab it either where your neck is or on your wrists. And this is also going to do a really great effect and help you to have a better sleep as well. Number five is to limit caffeine. It is recommended to refrain from consuming caffeine at least six hours before you go to sleep. Just because if you have caffeine right before sleep, caffeine is a stimulant and it'll, it keeps you awake and you're more likely not to fall asleep. So limiting your caffeine, if you are going to have caffeine, having that more in the beginning of your days and trying not to have it later at night. If you do want to drink something, a great 
option is to have chamomile tea. So chamomile tea really helps to promote sleep and relaxation. So I always like to have a chamomile tea before I go to sleep, especially if I'm having a really hard time falling asleep. This is just really going to help speed up the process. Number six is to adjust your sleep position. A lot of us sleep either three ways, on our back, our sides, or our stomach. And a lot of us used to think that the back is the best way to sleep, but a lot of studies have actually shown that the position that has been linked to high quality sleep is actually sleeping on your side. So I know some of us have our preference and a lot of us maybe can't sleep on our side, but I just thought I would throw that out there for you just so you know. I personally sleep on my side. That's not like, that's always been my thing. I usually start on the back and then I always end up on my sides. Let me know what your sleeping position is. Do you like sleeping on your stomach, the side, or on your back? I'm curious to know. Life hack number seven is to try belly breathing. If you're having a really hard time falling asleep because you're thinking of a million things at once and your mind is just racing and you can't stop thinking about things, try a simple belly breathe. Belly breathing is pretty much controlled deep breathing. Deep breathing is simply a great way to direct your mind away from your thoughts that may actually be keeping you up. If your mind is racing and you can't fall asleep, just lie down on your back, place your hand on your belly, and then what you're going to do is just breathe in deeply through your nose, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then breathe out through your mouth. Do this a few times for a few minutes and try to just really focus on your breathing and try not to drift off and think about all the other things that you have going on in your life. Just focus on just your breathing and that's it. And this is really going to help relax you and calm you down and kind of just get you ready for sleep. Life hack number eight is to turn your clock around. So if you use your phone for your clock, then put your phone away from you so that you're not constantly looking at the time. But if you have like an alarm clock or a digital clock, and even if it's right next to you, turn it away from you because a lot of the times when we can't sleep, we just constantly look at the time. Just watching the minutes tick away is just making it much harder to fall asleep. So just turn it away from you so you don't focus on the time and how you're not falling asleep and you can't fall asleep. So I always like to just make sure that I have no time around me and it's not in front of me because I have been there where I just like keep looking at the time and I'm like, why can't I fall asleep? And then time just keeps going by and by and I can just never fall asleep. Number nine is a little bit different and I was always really skeptical about this, but a great tool to help you fall asleep is listening to ASMR videos. There is a ton of ASMR videos on YouTube, which I'm sure you guys know. To be completely honest with you, I didn't really understand what ASMR videos were and kind of what was the point of them but ASMR videos are really great for helping promote sleep. So they really help relax you. There is a ton of ASMR videos on YouTube that you can search up that you can write ASMR videos for falling asleep and trust me guys this really really helps so I got really desperate one night because I've been having a really hard time falling asleep and I've tried so many things I randomly just decided you know what I'm gonna watch ASMR videos because I heard they were kind of good for sleep and I never really understood them so that's why I never really watched them before but I'm telling you right when you watch a good ASMR video that helps to promote sleep it knocked me out right away. I actually am so shocked at how well this works. I definitely recommend ASMR videos if you really can't fall asleep. I tried this a few times and every time I fell asleep so easily. And speaking on with that kind of trend, you can also download like white noise apps. These apps basically play a noise that are said to help promote sleep and you can actually set it on a timer so that it plays, let's say on your phone, maybe you could put your phone on your desk, let the sound play, and you can set a timer so that it goes off after an hour, after 30 minutes, after two hours, whatever you think you want it to go off on. And this also does help to relax you and help to allow you to fall asleep quicker as well. And the last life hack I have for you is just to cover your eyes with some eye masks. This is really great because by doing this, it's going to give you complete darkness. You're not going to have any light shining through. By having this pure darkness, your chances of falling asleep are dramatically improved when you have pure darkness and no no sound. So you can even put ear uh, plugs in your ears or just have complete silence where you're falling asleep 
and put on your eye mask and you're just more likely to be able to fall asleep quicker and have improved sleep. When your brain senses pure darkness, it, it causes the production of melatonin, which I'm not sure if you guys hear, but a lot of people actually take melatonin if they have a hard time falling asleep because this is what really helps for us to fall asleep. By having melatonin and our body producing melatonin, this is really going to help trigger sleep. So always having complete darkness and having an eye mask is really going to make sure that you have that complete darkness. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. It really helps me out. Don't forget to comment down below your bedtime. I'm curious to know what time you guys go to bed. And don't forget to also click the red subscribe button so you're a part of the YouTube family because I do upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.